Now, a week from Tuesday, voters in Tucson will decide whether to pass an initiative that would increase legal protections for immigrants. The measure would restrict law enforcement from determining a person's immigration status. Now, earlier today, before being sent to breaking news, not on your sides, Rogelio Mares spoke with both sides on the issue ahead of that vote. The last leg of campaigning on Proposition 205 starts this week. The official title of the proposition is Tucson Families Free and Together. If passed, it would prohibit police in Tucson and city employees from contacting federal agencies to determine a person's immigration status. Mayor Jonathan Rothschild says he and all of Tucson City Council oppose the measure. These are seven people who have worked for years to protect our immigrant community. Said Olivier drafted the petition for Prop 205 and she says there's support in the city for it. We are actually run, running a very hearty and traditional campaign. We're knocking, knocking on thousands of doors every single week. City leaders say if voters pass the measure, it could take away resources from Tucson. It would devastate our lives enforcement uh, and that's that's just one very serious reason to be against this. Rothschild says the federal government could withhold resources from agencies in Washington and at the state level Tucson could be denied its share of state dollars. We have a very bad law in this state 1487 that allows uh, the uh, the state to take our state shared revenue away on 30 days notice. Olivier calls that a fear tactic. So it is another talking point that's there to create uh, fear and to make people um, want to vote out of fear, which is exactly why we ran this campaign. Voters have the final say. Election day is November 5th. For Kega 9 on your side, I'm Rogelio Matis.